suggestions you have for how they can do it better, or just do it differently. Um, okay, and that goes for the actors too. Any actors, if you have something you think, wow, that really worked well, I like that, or, oh, I'd like to try it this way, we'll go back and we'll do it again and just see how it works, okay? Um, so we're gonna use this area for our stage again. So let's see, um, first up we've got the very beginning scene with Lucius and Hippolyta. Now, fair Hippolyta, our nuptial hour draws on apace. Four happy days brings in another moon. But, oh, me thinks how slow this old moon wanes. Four days quickly succeed themselves in the night. Four night nights quickly funeral. Happy be Theseus, our thousand. Thanks, Theseus. What's the news with thee? Full of vexation come I, with complaint, against my child, my daughter Hermia. Stand forth, Demetrius, my noble lord. This man hath my consent to marry her. Stand forth, Lysander. And, my gracious duke, this man hath bewitched the bosom of my child. I beg the ancient privilege of Athens, as she is mine, and I may dispose of her, which shall be either to this gentleman or to her death, according to our law. What say you, Hermia? I would my father will to but with my eyes, but I beseech your grace, that I may know the worst that may befall me in this case if I refuse to wed Demetrius. Either to die the death or to abjure forever the society of men. Relent, sweet Hermia, and my standard yield. The, thy praise title to my servant's right. You have a father's love, Demetrius. Let me have Hermia's. Do you marry him? Demetrius, come, and come, Aegeus, you shall go with me. I have some private school in Greek, folks. Okay, stop there for a moment. Okay, so anybody, actors or audience, what did you notice that really worked? What did you like? I really like Caitlin's face when she looked at him. She was at Lysander. She liked Caitlin. Oh, Demetrius. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, good like facial expressions. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Same thing with you. I like, yeah. you did the same thing with Lysander, actually, yeah. the other one, right? I like that. Remember, actions work, you know, speak louder than words, right? So uh, a lot of times those facial expressions, gestures, things like that are really going to help the audience. What else? What else worked well? I think Justine really liked it. Yeah. Justine, <laughs> Justine, what is something you liked? Keanu's face. Keanu's facial expression? Okay. Yeah, you could, you could just see the disgust, couldn't yeah. you? Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, suggestions. Anything you'd like to see done differently? Yeah. I think Caitlin should slow down on a bit. Slow down a little? Okay. I know, if you think you're going slow enough, chances are you probably still have to slow down a little bit, okay? Because remember, the audience doesn't have this in front of them, so they need to process the words. So just take it nice and easy. Our natural tendency is to go too fast, isn't it? Um, any other, anything else you'd like to see differently? I still think, like, positioning is, like, an issue because, as, like, the way we're standing, it's almost impossible to look at the actors and to look at the audience. Okay. Like, for me, when I'm saying my lines are supposed to be, most of them are like directed toward a Jesus, but a Jesus is here and the crowd, like the audience is this way. So there's really no way for me to. That's why you kind of like talk have to like turn. Yourself. I was kind of standing like, like this. Like have like your body out and just like look at me. And, and then like, like that, yeah. they were both standing here looking this way. So then mm -hmm. you know their their backs entirely to the audience. I could see you struggling with that because I could see like a lot of times I could not see your face too well and you were kind of like wobbling. Uh, what do you what do you guys think? Um, why doesn't a Jesus stand more like a well then, <laughs> just behind you. Well, uh, tell you what, let's just try it. Let's try it. And even if Teddy's behind you, maybe it'll look good, right? Because he's like, yeah. you're in charge of it, right? You're like, yeah. he's, he's the only one, so maybe he should be behind you, you know? Um, let's try it that way. So let's go back just to the beginning, um, page one, where, um, yeah, you don't even have to enter. Just um, just start standing there with happy the Theseus are now Duke, okay? Um, and uh, I, I have one thing, uh, Theseus, uh, when you say, on the top of page two, what say you, Hermia, um, can you try emphasizing the word you yeah. in that line, okay? Um, just, you know, it could be the way you look at her, maybe more, or just the way you say it. Try to emphasize the word you, I want to see how that looks, okay? 
Okay, so starting from Happy Be Theseus, go ahead. Happy Be Theseus, our now Thanks, good Jesus. What's the news with me? Full of vexation come I with complaint against my child, my daughter Hermia. Stand forth, Demetrius, my noble lord. This man hath my consent to marry her. Stand forth. Stop for a second. Stop for a minute. Henry, I'm still kind of like not seeing your face. Can you, yeah, just turn that way just ever so slightly. That's good. Okay. Stop. Let's stop. And maybe, yeah, Kiana, just take maybe like one step forward, just so it looks more like he's still looking at you, okay? okay. Um, is this, uh, Jason, you were the one who had this idea. Is this kind of like what you were thinking? P position them. Position them how you think it would work well. Remember what you were just showing us. Uh, maybe if the audience were actually watching us, you know, how would we Well, imagine that, you know, the audience is over here, okay? So, so if the audience is over there, then it would be like the perfect position to be yeah. kind of facing like this, because it still seems like you're talking to each other, but it's enough to project towards the audience. Okay, so you think this will work well? Probably. Okay, so keep an eye on this, watch as we go along and see if you have any other ideas, okay? Um, okay, so just take it from... Stand forth, Lysander. Yeah, yeah, good. Stand forth, Lysander, and my gracious duke, this man hath bewitched the bosom of my child. I beg the ancient privilege of Athens, as she is mine, and I may dispose of her, which shall be either to this gentleman or to her death, according to our law. What say you, Hermia? I would my father look but with my eyes, but I beseech your grace, that I may know the worst that may befall me in this case if I refuse to wed. Demetrius. Okay, stop there. Um, right, what do you guys think? Um, first of all, posi the positioning was one of the things, right? Did you think that was better? Yeah. I did too, yeah. I could, I could see your face more, Henry, which is it's really important. But it still looked, I mean, I know it's, it may not look like from your perspective, but from our perspective in the audience, Henry, it looked like you were still talking to Kiana. Okay? Um, so it's all about what the audience is seeing. Um, what, uh, what else? Oh, the line, you know, what say you, Hermia? I heard, did you guys hear the you being emphasized? Yeah. yeah. What do you think? Do you like that better or yeah. not as much? I don't know. I feel like I overemphasized it. Like, no, actually, no, I thought it was good. It actually works really well because it kind of gives the idea that, like, you don't really want to be dealing with this right now, but you kind of want to. Yeah. Also, what I liked, um, Henry, is it, for me, it brought out also kind of the, um, uh, the dichotomy between uh, Hermia and her father. So he's already, you know, the father's already said his, his speech, right? And now you're like, now what say you? You know, it's kind of like, you know, you're giving her a turn to speak. I, I, I liked it. Um, and also, um, another thing we said was Caitlin slowing down a little bit. Did you notice? Yeah. Were her lines slower? What do you think? I still think just a tad bit slower. Tad slower? Yeah, just a little bit. What, what, effect, what effect did that have uh, for her to slow down? A little less tongue-tied, okay. That's always good. What else? I, th I feel like it gives the audience then time to really like listen in on what uh, she's saying. Yeah, so I agree. For me, yeah. sitting out here watching you guys, even though we've been through this and I'm, I'm familiar with it, it helped me to understand it still, you know? And to get more out of it. Anything else? I feel like overall, like our volume, I think, I don't feel like we're on the same page all of us as far as volume, but I feel like because I feel like Caitlin's a little too quiet, and then Kiana and me are like, I don't know, I feel like I'm like like normal conversation, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we gotta, we did talk about that too, we gotta make sure that volume-wise, that we're all kind of on the same level. Not this, but... So, uh, okay, all right, all right. So, um, anyway, um, so we gotta make sure that volume-wise, we're all kind of on the same page, except for when you want to emphasize something like that, okay? Um, I did like that though, Caitlin. I noticed it was it was slower. To me, it also, it sounded like you more, um, like you were being more deliberate, you know? Like, I would my father look but with my eyes, you know? Just, it emphasized certain words more. I like that. Sandy, I think you were going to say something. Um, I think when Kiana says, you know, the part with the bosom of my child, that's kind of she like, emphasizes it in more anger and then goes right back to being calm and like it's just it's calm 
Okay. And then rage, kind of like slight anger, and then calm again. So she's got a maybe. What would what would your suggestion be? I, I would say to be like Henry Keanu, listen to this. To be like kind of salting through all of it. Okay. Okay. And then like, Just kind of keep the mood is what you're saying. Yeah. Keep I feel like I start off really salty and then I get like nice and calm and then well, I get salty. I feel, like, I feel like it makes sense though for you to change emotions because you're talking at one point you're talking to the person that you want to marry your daughter and the other part you're talking. About something that you have, you're like, us. yeah, you, you yeah. hate that. You know? Okay. So it makes sense so, to have that uh, sudden change of emotion. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know. Well, let's let's try it. Let's just that speech, Kiana. Let's okay. try it the way that Sammy's saying and just see how it works. By the way, Paul, okay, you're in this scene. You don't need that. Yeah, it's, 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 you don't have any more lines, but it's no big deal. Um, okay, so uh, let's see how it works. See what you think. If it works well, great. If it doesn't work well, let's scrap it, okay? So just that one speech. Um, and you know, just start, start at Stand Forth Lysander, halfway down, okay? Wait, can I like start, can I say something? I feel like yeah. Caitlin should be like next to me, and then I feel like it should be Teddy, then Tara. Like how like we line up, because like, like I'm like the overprotective dad, so I'm gonna want oh, her to be next yeah. to me, and then I like Demetrius can be next to her, but I want my Sandra as far away from her as possible. I see what you're saying, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'll just I'm overprotective to you be if you're about to murder her. It's because like when your parents get mad at you and then they make you stand in the room. Yeah, so that's a, that's a good point. I mean, even if your position there is gonna tell the audience something, right? So I like that. Okay, so let's uh, okay, let's start again. So Caitlin's gonna stand right next to you. And you're going to do that speech, right? Um, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Wait, from the beginning, right? Okay. Full of vexation come I, with complaint, against my child, my daughter Hermia. Stand forth, Demetrius, my noble lord. This man hath my consent to marry her. Stand forth, Lysander, and... My gracious dude, this man hath bewitched the bosom of my child. I beg the ancient privilege of Athens, as she is mine, and I may dispose of her. But what shall be either to this gentleman or to her death, according to our law? Okay, stop. So, what do you what do you guys think of that? You like it? Okay. All right. So let's um, let's move on. Let's go on to another scene, and we're gonna. Um, we're going to skip ahead to the bottom of page three, okay, um, which is Enter Robin. So this is you again, Kiana, playing, playing your old three boys. Anybody's phone? <laughs> Where was it? Just sitting on the roof? Yeah, it's, it's over there, like under a shirt or something. Next. I don't know Sam's phone. Just pull the power button. Just turn it off. The side button, the power button? I don't know. Wait, <laughs> wait. Oh, yeah, okay. Just got one of the power buttons. Oh, I got a passcode. It's not going to turn off. Oh, there it goes. It's off. Thank you, Sam. I'm not a Sam person. I'm an iPhone person. I can edit this out. Right? Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Um, is that still recording? Yeah. Send that to speech there. Now, you probably noticed we did cut a little bit out of that because Kiana was a little concerned it was kind of long, kind of lengthy, so we cut a little bit, a couple lines out. Um, but what do you think? Yeah, that was good. Okay, any suggestions or anything anything in particular that you thought worked well? Can you tell the voice a little bit more often when you say it? Okay. 
What do you mean? Well, like, there's just wasn't a lot of enunciation with the words. Like, it was okay. a lot of, okay. I felt like, you know, uh, just toward like the end of each line, it kind of just, the right. lines just were like really long, and there was no like change. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I remember the general rule, you, know, you kind of want to like emphasize like halfway through the line, build it up, and then at the end too, don't let the end of the line drop off. Okay? So um, why don't you do that again real quick, okay? And make sure that you're doing what Henry said, okay? Emphasizing. Okay. And like one or two parts. Like... Yeah, I have my line. Okay. okay. Have you broken them up? Have you put yeah, the rule? I did. Okay. So really be uh, cautious of that, be aware of that, okay? Um, okay, so and just, I would say slow down just a little bit too. Slow down a tad. Okay, good. I am that merry wonder of the night. I just overrun and make him smile. And sometimes blurt I in the cross of form, in very likeness of a rose and crab. And when she drapes against her lips, I bob and on her. Whither do lap for the ale, the wisest aunt telling the saddest tale. Sometime her three foot stool mistaketh me, then slip I from her bump, and down topple she. Here comes Oberon, and here my mistress. Would that you were gone. Okay, stop. So, what do you guys think? Do you notice any difference? Can you try, Tiana? Can you try um, one thing? I'd like you to try is I heard that you emphasize the word I a lot. Um, and I don't know, I, I thought it got a little bit tedious. Okay. So try not to do that as much. I don't know, let's just see how it works. It's kind of hard because it's like all the pauses, like it would be too long because he talks about it. It's basically just him, like him telling him, like what he, and him telling everyone right. what he does. Well, can you try a different way to see how it works? Okay. Um, and uh, also, I thought the top of page before, the second line, um, okay. can you try pausing after do that? Okay. You were pausing earlier, so an honor with a dewlap, and then there, like a slight pause okay. for the air. Um, and I would say just try not to emphasize the word I, but just see how it works. So, like halfway through the speech, there, then slip I, just, you know, then okay. slip I from her bum, pause. Uh, and there was another one on the previous page. Um, sometime lurk I in a gossip stool. So, just um, try not to emphasize, you know, just, and sometime lurk I, slight pause, in gossip stool. So take it one more time, okay? I just want to see how that works with that. I am that merry wonder of the night. I just to Oberon and make him smile. And sometime lurk I in a gossip's bowl, in very likeness of a roasted crab. And when she drinks, against her lips I bob, and on her. Wither do lap for the ale. Okay, stop, stop. Okay, so let's try that again. I have my line. I have my pencil to erase with them. This Here. Is only pencil. Yeah, so just uh, write it in, okay? So let's uh, do after wither do lap, okay? okay? And just try that, uh, just try that the line before that and that line. Just okay. those two lines, okay? okay. And when she drinks, against her lips I bog, and on her wither do lap for the ale. The wisest aunt telling the saddest tale. Sometimes for three foot stool mistaketh me, then slip I from her bone, and down topple she. Here comes Oberon, and here my mistress. Would that be were gone? Okay, what did you guys think of that, that line? Did it work better, you think? Or? Yeah. What do you notice when she does it that way? You say, and on her wither do lap for the ale, as opposed to, and on her wither do lap for the ale. Do you notice any difference? More organized? Okay. I felt more organized. Okay, anything else? When I heard it that way, Tiana, the word poor, and like that, that whole phrase, pour the ale, kind of like stuck out more. I thought, like, that's kind of the idea, is like you're making your still ale, you know, beer all over yourself, you know? Um, so it just kind of, that phrase stuck out more. Um, okay, let's keep going then. Um, Oberon Titania, are you ready? But okay, let's. I want to start from here comes Oberon, okay? Okay. And we'll do the transition quick. Here comes Oberon, and here my mistress. What that you were. Wait, stop, stop, stop. We can't see your face though. Um, what do you guys think? How could Kiana do this? What if Kiana, like, as she's saying her line, like, her last line is. Or what if I, like, move myself back with my palm? Ah, okay. Yeah. Let's try that. So just, you don't even have to uh, just start on the, on the floor if you want, but back there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, from here comes Oberon. Here comes Oberon, and here my 
Here comes Oberon, and here my mistress. Would that he were gone? Ill met by moonlight, proud Titania, and not uh, Harry, rash one, uh, and not I, thy lord? Then I must be thy lady. Why should Titania cross her Oberon? I do but beg a little changing boy to be my henchman. Say your heart at best. The fair land lies not the child of me. My gentle puck, come hither. Fetch me that flower, the herb I showed thee once, the juice of it on sleeping eyelids laid, will make or man or woman madly dope on the next blind creature that it sees. I'll put a girdle round about the earth in forty minutes. Okay, so what do you guys think? Uh, especially about Kiana doing that differently. We should back farther, you can see her face. What did you notice? Did you like it better that way, or did you like it better the other way? Easier for the actors to transition. Yeah. Okay, yeah. easier to transition. What else? Anything else? I like how it puts it when yeah. she's sitting like that. Like I'm watching. Yeah. yeah. It, yeah. It's a comedy. I thought the same thing. It's like uh, it almost like first she's the the spotlight on the stage, right? And then they come in and they pretty much like overshadow her. So it's like a nice transition, and it's, it's like she's pretty much watching them. You know? yeah. I thought the same thing. And then it's some question. Too fast, though. I think it also helps transition to the like to my act lines after she leaves, where I'm like you come Robin, and like that way the Robin just comes in so instead of turning. Ah, okay. back the audience. Yeah, so I, I think that works well. So we'll have to remember to do that outside then, okay, for the actual play. Uh, okay, so let's keep moving on here. Um, we're going to skip ahead a little bit um, to uh, page six, okay, uh, where the actors come in. Okay, now we're missing uh, Hannah and Tony, so um, is anybody willing to come in for them? Just for now, they only have a couple lines. Do okay. okay, why don't you be, um, you be flute, go to Tana's line, and who's, uh, it'll be Tony's line? Okay, so he'll be, uh, snout, right? Okay. Uh, Am I sleeping at this point? Yeah. This with uh, Sandy right here in the front. No, I don't. You don't either? I really don't. Where, yeah, I think she's meant to be kind of like off to the side or in the no, background, I right? I like, back here for now. Okay. What's that? Do you be where Robin was at last scene? Maybe in the back or something? Because the idea is that they don't, they don't see her, right? But this way it's like, like, how can you not see her? She's right there, right? So we got to get the impression that she's not in their sight, right? So. I don't know, somebody said maybe in the they back. They come up further and she could be back there. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. So maybe, you know, why don't you go back by the door back there, you know? Just kind of off to the side. That way you're still on stage standing, but you're not really in the spotlight, right? Not in the center. It's okay, take it from uh, our wheel at bottom. Oh, we all met. Yeah, that is this one this green flash up there stage. This whole floor of the entire house. And we don't have action as we do it before the day. Mid bottom believer. What is Pyramus? A lover? Or a time. A lover that kills himself, most gallant to love. Thou will ask for some tears in the true performer. If I do it, let the audience look to their eyes. I'll lose storms. Now, name the rest of the players. Francis Flew, the bellwender. Here, Peter Quinn. Flew, we must take Thisbe on you. What is Thisbe? A wandering knight? It is a lady that Pyramus must love. Nay, Faith, let me not play a woman. I have a beard coming. Let me play Thisbe too. I'll speak in a monstrous little voice. Thisbe, Thisbe. Oh, it's my Athena. 
No, no, you must play for me. Well, proceed. Snug, the joiner. You the lines part. I mean the lines part written. Pray you, if it be, give it me, for I am slow to study. You may go next temporary, for it is nothing but boring. <laughs> Let me play the lines part too. I will roar that I will make any man's heart go to him. I will roar that the Duke will say, Let him roar again! Let him roar again! You can play no part of Hermes. Come, sit down, and rehearse your part. Hermes, you begin. What a play for? I'll be an arbiter. And after two, perhaps, if I see cause. This one. The flowers, odious, sailors, sweet. Odors, odors. Odors, sailors, sweet. So hath thy breath, my dearest Thisbe, dear. But hark, a voice. Say thou art here a while. It's not. So let's just real quick. Um, what did what did you guys notice? What worked well there? I don't think that I worked good in that case because of the accent when everybody else doesn't have an accent. Like I still feel like he can play his part without it, but it's kind of weird because like it's like he's all like, oh blah blah blah, and then just seems all like, yeah, you're doing this. And then like everyone else is just like not accent, and then it's Jason having yeah. the accent. So maybe Jason should do the accent when he's playing the, the yeah. little pyramids, but not yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thing is, it works for Bottoms because he's very eccentric. Well, I think when Bottoms playing the parts or like practicing for the parts, it makes sense. But when like Bottoms like you know he's introducing himself and he's asking what yeah. part do I have, then like that like, doesn't make too much sense. But like, when he's in like trying to get in character, then it makes sense. Okay. So like that one part where he says, you know, um, he, he starts doing, uh, I'll, I'll do it in a monstrous little voice. You know, that would make sense, right? Let's, I don't know, let's try it. Let's just try it where uh, Jason, you're doing a regular voice, except when you're kind of in part, you know, you're like, acting or pretending to act, right? And let's just, just try it and see how it works. Okay, it doesn't work, but you like it the other way, we'll do it the other way. Um, yeah, so um, you, you gotta remember, so Robin's gonna have to be up here somewhere. Now, boy, this, the, the stage is getting pretty crowded, isn't it? Because we got Sandy back there, she's supposed to be kind of off to the corner. Robin also is supposed to be kind of off to the corner. Um, I mean, like, Robin and Robin are supposed to be, like, in the audience during this time, but, like, yeah. not too far in the audience. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Like, I could watch the other part. But, like, well, that's right. We did say, okay, yeah. so that was your idea. Okay, I got it. Got it. Okay. Um, just seeing. One thing I would say for you, too. Um, slow down just a little bit. You started off a little fast, but then you got better. You went along. So just slow down at the beginning a little bit, especially that longer speech, you know. Um, I liked the, uh, the gestures, though, you know. Um, this one from Break Our Tiring House. I thought that was good. Um, maybe uh, what 